In this video, I want to give you a quick overview on how to update pages inside WordPress. So how to update your website using WordPress, provided that your site was developed inside WordPress. Before we get into WordPress, I just want to show you a site really quickly. This is a site that has been done in WordPress. We're going to go to this particular page behind the scenes to, to edit the page. To use WordPress, you'll, you'll be given a, a, a username and password to get kind of to get behind the scenes, and this is kind of where we are here. This is considered the WordPress dashboard. I've already navigated to all the pages on the site, so you see all the pages listed here. If there, if you have levels of pages on the site, they'll be listed inside. They're they're what we call the parent page. So the particular page we want to update is this research and product benefits. When I scroll over that, I get several options. I'm going to choose edits. And this brings up in editing mode the content of that page. So that what we see here corresponds to the content. I'm sorry, let me jump to that particular page. <laughs> the content we see here, the research and product benefits. Okay, so we see this area here when we're inside the edit mode of WordPress. Now we can edit whatever we want inside the content area of that web page. Again, if you're familiar with using Microsoft Word, You'll adapt pretty quickly to to WordPress. I mean, the familiar icons that we're familiar with inside a word processing program are available to us inside this WordPress edit mode. The use of uh, formatting the fonts, setting up bullet lists, justification. These options here are links. So if I want certain words to be a link to somewhere else, I simply highlight the word. Press on the link button and then type in wherever I want that to go. And we'll say open this one in a new window. Click OK or add link. And this becomes a live link. When an image to the site, there is an image button here, but inside WordPress I recommend using this upload or insert media icon that sits right above all the, uh, the icons. I'm going to click on that. This opens up the, uh, the media option. And if I wanted to bring it up from a computer, I could select File, and we'll just bring in a random photo here. It uploads that one thing I like about WordPress is as you upload an image, you're given the opportunity to, to put a title in, in there. Now your title and alternate text may not be the same. In this case, we'll go with the same. This really helps with search engine results, placing the title and alternate text in there. You want the, if you want them to be able to click on the image and open up a larger image or just get just get that image versus image on a page, you could leave this link URL. I tend not to do that so much. You can align it left so the uh, text is on the right, etc. Leave that centered. You can do a full size or a thumbnail. We're going to leave it full, uh, full size, insert into post. Press that option and there's our, our image. So again, to, to insert an image, simply place your cursor where you want it, click on the upload insert. So it's, the, you can do this with videos, you can do it with um, sound clips, uh, different forms of, of media that you can insert quickly into your page. Again, it, you, have all, you have full control over all of these. If you want to uh, add headings, I suggest um, typing in your heading and then selecting that line and using these different styles that are, have been already been set up. This gives you consistency from page to page on your site, so all your heading threes will look the same. Um, you can import information as, as text or from a Word document with varying degrees of success, I might add. You can add special characters via that, via that option. Um, so just a lot of, of options here inside WordPress to update your your website quickly and, and, and fairly fairly easily and, and straightforward.